So here in Unity I have a very simple project. This red capsule here is a first person character. If I press play, I can move around and look with the mouse. And then we have this cube over here. So this cube will have the script to detect whether the camera is looking at it or not. So to begin, I'm gonna create a new script. Let's call it behind camera and assign it to the cube. Great, we already have the script, let's open it. And now we're gonna add the instructions. In the description, you will find the link with the code. In my case, I have it in this notepad. Uh, you will find some comments here. For example, uh, we have the variables. There's some functions that we need to define inside our script. And there is also this method call that we need to place it inside an update. So what I'm gonna do is to get rid of the start method because I'm not using it in this example, but make sure you have an update or a fix update. So now I will copy all this code from the document and I'm gonna paste it over here you will get an error because here we're executing a method in the middle of nowhere. Uh, as the comment says, this method has to be executed inside an update or a fixed update or late update. Uh, so let's cut it from here and paste it inside the update. This way, Unity is gonna automatically execute this method that uh, as the name indicates, is gonna check if the camera is looking. Now let's clean up a little bit. Let's bring this update down here, simply to have all the fields in the upper part and in the lower part, all the methods. Uh, but with this we are already done, at least with the c -sharp part. Now we have to configure the system in Unity, so we're gonna save the script and go back to Unity. Come here to the cube, and that is where we assigned the script at the beginning. And as you can see here in this vector, uh, there are three visible fields. One for the origin object, this would be the object to check if the camera sees it or not. In our case, it's gonna be the cube itself, so I'll take it and drag it in this field. Then in the next field, we have to assign the reference of the camera. In this particular case, my camera is inside the character, right here. So I'll take it and place it here. This last sensitivity parameter is a measure that tells us how the camera has to be oriented to be considered that it's not seeing the object. For example, if we set this parameter to zero, uh, the cube will consider that the camera is not seeing it when the angle between them is at least 90 degrees. But if we increase the sensitivity a little, for example to 0.1, in this case the camera angle has to increase a little further away, like in the opposite direction to the cube, in order to not see in the cube. I will leave this parameter at 0.15, more or less. Uh, you can test different values. Now let's hit play and go to the console. I will click on this option called collapse to group all the messages that are exactly the same and then clear the console just in case. So here, as you can see, we have a message that tells us that the camera is not currently seeing the object. Now let's turn the camera, uh, take a look in the console, we got two messages. One is that the camera started to look the object and as you can see here on the right, uh, it, it was a single execution. And then we have another message that is constantly printing and uh, that tells us that the camera is currently looking at the object. These messages are sent by two different functions inside the script. We can use them to do whatever we need. Now let's turn around. At a certain point, there, a message is printed and it says the camera stops looking. And we got another message that tells us uh, that the camera is currently not looking, which is constantly executing. If you can see these messages in your console, it means that the system is working. So with this, the system is already configured. If you come down here in the script, you will find four functions that were sending those messages in the console. This is the function that is called when the camera starts looking at the object. This other one is called while the camera is looking at the object. And this one executes when the camera stops looking, it's called a single time. And the final function executes while the camera is not seeing the object. So from now on, it's up to you. Inside these functions, you can release your creativity to make anything you need. That would be all for this video. I really hope you like it and see you next time.